Every other frequency in the world started to pick up a strange signal coming out of nowhere. It was forcing its way into military and civil radio networks of various countries of the world. For its characteristic knocking sound, it was called the Russian Woodpecker. The Soviet Union refused to acknowledge the existence of the signal's origin as requested by the governments of the USA, Canada and the UK. There were three known Duga stations in the Soviet Union that were located in Chernobyl, Komsomolsk on Amur and Nikolai. During the Cold War, USSR expected the US to launch a nuclear attack. It was believed that all those radars had been constructed to detect missiles sent from the other side of the planet. Beside that, there were rumors concerning the Duga usage of a non-conventional weapon that could cause irreversible changes in the human psyche. All those rumors were just the tip of the iceberg. The history fails to mention a government organization called Enlightenment that had built a huge secret research complex with another super radar in Kiev region. Even the majority of Enlightenment employees were never aware of the real activities and studies that were performed within the walls of the organization. Multiple mysterious events took place in that area when never explained neither by the media nor by scientists. By the end of the 80s, all those raiders stopped their activity. All those objects were abandoned. All the documents about the organization were destroyed and the Duga project was forgotten. Thirty years later, military troops launching its activities are spotted on the premises of the abandoned Enlightenment complex. Does it mean that the Duga project is about to relaunch?